breaking news welcome to today's headlines unam dekano drugs buari federal government to supreme court over refusal to release him unam dekano drugs buari federal government to supreme court over refusal to release him To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The lead lawyer to LIPOP and human rights activist, Ifiai Ejiofo, said these in a statement made available to the Punch in Abuja. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Unam Dekan, was approached the Supreme Court to set aside the ruling of the Court of Appeal, staying the execution of the court judgment, discharging him. IPOP's lawyer, Ifia Nyejio, for confirmed this on Thursday. According to Ponge, he said we have appealed to the Supreme Court to set aside the ruling of the Court of Appeal, staying the execution of the court judgment, we have appealed to the Supreme Court to set aside the ruling of the Court of Appeal, staying in the execution of the court judgment, discharging and placing further, but will any further detention and prosecution of Mazi Unamdekan on any charge, in dictament, before any court in Nigeria. Recall that on October 28, 2022, a three-man panel of learned justice of the Court of Appeal, Abuja Judicial Division granted an application for the stay of execution of the judgment of the Court of Appeal, pending the determination of the appeal filed before the Supreme Court by the federal government. After a thorough review of the said ruling, by our defense team eminently led by foremost leading senior advocate of nigeria chief mike ozeko mesan an informed decision was taken by the erudite senior advocate and the entire team that the said ruling which has no foundation in in law or fact placed before the court should be immediately appealed against for it to be set aside by the apex court our well-informed position was given a final nod by our indefatigable client only do Namdekano during my last visit to him we are therefore by this medium informing the general public and Umuchinekel in particular that we have filed an appeal against the said ruling of the Court of Appeal delivered October 28, 2022 and will proactively followed, follow up on the administrative process to ensure that both appeals are given an accelerated hearing in line with the extant fast-track rules of the Supreme Court. We shall keep everyone abreast of the development in the appeals as we progress. We respectfully urge you all to still remain peaceful and law-abiding as always and rest assured that the ruling of the court of appeal now appealed against 
will be reviewed on merit by Land Justice of the Supreme Court. Let us reiterate. For the avoidance of any doubt, that the said ruling did not interfere in any way with the status of the judgment of the Court of Appeal discharging Oyindu. The judgment of the Court of Appeal discharging Oyindu and striking out the seven counts charge still subsists. It has not been set aside. Thank you all and remain blessed, Omochineke. The lead lawyer to LIPOB and human rights activist, Ifiyanyi Ejiofo, said this in a statement made available to the punch in Abuja. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Unam Dikan was approached the Supreme Court to set aside the ruling of the court of appeal to stay in the execution of the court judgment discharging him. IPOP's lawyer Ifia Yejiofo confirmed this on Thursday, according to Ponj. He said, We have appealed to the Supreme Court to set aside the ruling of the Court of Appeal, stay in the execution of the court judgment, discharging and placing further bar to any further detention and prosecution of Mazi Unamdekanu on any charge in dictment before any court in Nigeria. Recall that on October 28, 2022, a three-man panel of land justices of the Court of Appeal Abuja Judicial Division granted an application for the stay of execution of the judgment of the Court of Appeal. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're